Hey, my name is John McFeeders. I'm the founder and CEO of Stadium Goods, here today with Complex Hustle. I've uh, in some way, shape or form been in sneakers for a long time. Always as an enthusiast when I was younger, I was just very, very into it. At some point I got into uh, doing branded marketing work with a company called Team Epiphany. And over the years, my, my knowledge of e-commerce had grown uh, tremendously to, to know how to sell things online. Fast forward to mid-2015, I, I realized that we had an opportunity to do something really special. So my partner and I, a guy by the name of Jed Stiller, decided to make a push with Stadium Goods. It's been about 14 months since then, and, and here we are today. I think we spend a lot of time fine-tuning our customer service operation to make sure that buyers get answers to their questions, feel good about the purchase. I think that service piece is a, is a big differentiator. We really just want to supercharge it and do a lot more innovative things. and. That, that comes at a cost. So we, we sort of hit the war path and, and went around to talk to people and try to raise money. It couldn't have worked out better, honestly. Like we've, we've been very lucky and fortunate to end up in the position that we are in today with the announcement and the round that we just closed. It's a very hard business. It's definitely not for the faint of heart, you know? Uh, you're operating on a very small margin. For us, we, we take 20% of every transaction, um, which means it's not like a traditional retail business where you have 50% of the product price that you can eat if you make the sale. What we try to do is take take a lot of the challenge out of it for, for people that are trying to make money um, from that as an undertaking. We get a lot of the traditional Jordan retro collector and Nike enthusiasts. We've seen a huge spike in Adidas popularity. We have our celebrities and athletes that come and shop. So we really try to honor privacy and treat people right um, on every front. So we've, we've definitely gotten some good pick up in that regard. Our goal is to continue to grow, you know, to find um, new audiences, new people that aren't necessarily aware of our brand. For a long time, resale and consignment has kind of been, it's sort of been like a dirty word that's been thrown around. You think of like thrift stores, you don't really know what you're buying, you're haggling, you're, it's, it, it's not as clean a transaction as say you go to Nike.com and buy a pair of shoes. People are realizing that consignment offerings are selling brand new products and that the condition is good and that the experience is good. We're really trying to bring that retail level of experience to this. And more and more people are willing to buy from a consignment shop than ever before in the history of time.